Hey guys, um, in my last video I said that I would review my mobile and did. Well, in America and so forth, I think you call them cell phones, but we in the UK we call them mobiles or just phones. But anyway, this is the Nokia C3. You can get it in pink and silver. I decided to get mine in blue because I've had pink and silver phones and I thought why not be a change and get a blue phone. Um, it is really really good. Um, it's kind of like I call it a mock up of a Blackberry. Um, I don't really like Blackberries. That's why I didn't get one. I could afford a Blackberry, but I just didn't want one because I don't actually like them. I don't like the whole idea of them. But I picked this instead. It is really good I like it I've just got a wee site telling me things as well so I'll put that up in a wee second my opinion on it it's really it's good value for its money I bought it at 80 pounds and that was in January so the price should have went down by now so it should be about um 60 pounds maybe now but it was really good for its money and I love it um it's got a quite a good bit of space in it so yeah it does got a good uh, it has a good bit of space in it but I don't really use the space in it because I have a memory card so I have here just a wee SD micro one gig card and like I don't listen to that much music so I mean I don't have that much music on my phone or pictures or anything so Okay, so your memory stick goes in here, and this is where your this other way thing is where your USB lead goes. So there's that. Okay, so there's two wee buttons at each side here. There's, if you can see, there and there, and you press them together, and the lid comes off. So this is kind of like a I'd say metal, kind of like a metal, but it can still scratch. So you have a very biggish battery here. So you do. Um, and I don't really want to take the battery out because I don't want to turn my phone off. Don't think that through. But anyway, your SIM card's underneath it. So it is. And then you click your back, back in place. Like that. Just make sure it's back in place. Um, the camera is 2.0 megapixel, which isn't that great, but I don't really, I'm not saying that I don't use my camera, which, because that's a lie, I do use my camera all the time, but like, if I was going to put like photographs on Facebook or Twitter or something like that, it would all be through a camera, mostly. But, so that's one disappointing thing about that is actually the megapixels, so but it is a good phone, I really do like it. It has a QWERTY keyboard. Let's go on to the information site. Okay, actually it is saying that it's £99. Which, oh that, no, that's something completely different. Okay, anyway. Here you have a little so two wee silver buttons and this is for your messages and this is for your contacts and here's just the middle button to get into the menu and your hang up no your answer button your hang up button and your two select buttons okay so it comes locked so basically to unlock it you press the middle button and this little arrow button here wrong side this little arrow button here if you can see there focus that one there so and there you can see that it makes your wee noise and why is that like that oh that's because I took the thingy my bulb out okay so because I took the memory card out my wee picture isn't there anymore so anyway um, you have when I got it it first came with this home screen on it okay so basically to get rid of that you go to go to and you scroll press the top button and that scrolls you right down to the bottom and you press home screen and that just turns the home screen off. Um, 
you can connect to the internet with this which I could never really do with any other phone so I really like that so that means I'm not actually paying for my internet I just connect to it um, let's see what else is there it has all your usuals alarm clocks um, calculator profile not the profile well that's just changing the things around the good thing about it when I first turned the phone on came this introduction and it just came up itself and it just showed you all the stuff about your phone can you actually see without seeing my window so it just showed you like a wee video about your phone and telling you how to use it so that was quite good so basically to go to your menu you go to menu and then you have your calendar your contacts your music your mail and then you have internet messages photos what's that that's just a shopping store thing and then your settings communications games and apps and what else is there and just a wee thing saying oh two a wee sim card saying oh two um it has got quite a bit of memory in it i really like it for that um the it's really good i'm just bl blam blabbering on again um, the store is some of it is free if you go into the store but um, I don't really download any apps because the apps do freeze your phone and make your phone a lot slower so that is one thing I don't do with it I do not download apps whatsoever I have and then have to reset my phone because it kind of um, not broke it but kind of um, really free froze it a lot so I, I turned that off so this it actually says this is a smartphone which I don't actually know what that actually means <laughs> which is a good start but it said on um, it's just a smart smartphone and um, the features will go to the features features sorry I'm looking at the website as well uh, not really interested in the home screen okay so internet you have your Wi-Fi so you can type a lot faster because it is a QWERTY keyboard so you don't have to press your all your buttons a couple of times um, okay so specifications let's see if there is Okay, the colours you can actually get it in is hot pink, slate grey and a golden white. Okay, so this is the slate grey, which is the blue colour. Um, you can personalise it with customization home screen, which is your widgets, your, did I say that word right? I don't know, themes and shortcuts. Um, yeah, that's what it says. It is 2.4 inches long. Right. And you it has with no memory card in it, it has 55 megabytes, which is quite crap when I think about it. But it can hold up to an 8 gig card in it. Obviously it has its flight mode thing, quad band, whatever that is. Okay, I'm just going to turn everything off or else I'll get just completely distracted. Anywho, um, the really good thing about the Wi-Fi is that, well, I have had a phone that has had Wi-Fi before, but um, this one saves the web addresses, okay? So I could go on at home and put my web key in, which is the IP address for our internet to get onto the internet is the password thing. And we have a pa ours is secure, so we have a password. So basically, I'll show you how to do it and go to the unlock screen just to make it the home screen just to make it a lot quicker. Basically, if you have your home screen, you scroll down and you go to this thing in here, which is your YLAN, and you look there's available LANs. Okay, so that's my thing there, and I just can press connect, and you can see it's secure but I can press connect 
and then basically your first time ever connecting you can save it to your your save one so this is my own home one that's my uncle's and that's my school's so basically I can just go on all the time not all the time I can go on it automatically automatically connects without me having to um, put put um, uh, put I can't think of the word put the different passwords in um, what else has it got of course it has its radio and all that and the communication sites it ha actually has Facebook and Twitter actually on it for it not free for some deal where you get it cheap um, when I first went on the internet I came up with a wee screen asking me do I want to do a pay as you go or if I want to do it as online with using someone's Wi-Fi using the house Wi-Fi or whatever you it'll say that but you can it says internet connection it'll ask you and I've just put it as don't ask because I don't want to use a uh, use my own money on it okay um as you can see it's 11 31 a.m on the 6th of may whatever date that is today but anywho um enough about the phone of course it'll come well the review about the phone but it comes with your headphones your charger your external cable and it does come with a two gigabyte memory stick, memory chip thingy my bulb for it, but actually um mine didn't come with it because the woman had taken it out in the shop to do something on it and didn't put it back in and I just haven't been bothered going back to get it. And we, I got it in January so I can't really do that. Anywho, an accessory I bought for my phone off eBay because I drop my phone a lot and I damage them so you probably see on my screen some scratches that's actually from the second day I had my phone well first actual official day because I was just out of my work and it was an early start it was like six o'clock in the morning shift till about three in the afternoon so went from work and then on my way into the house it was raining and I dropped my phone and it landed on stones and scratched the screen so I went on the internet, eBay, and bought this. And this is just like a wee case. And it comes with a wee screen wiper. So I just keep it in there just for keepsake. And I just slide my phone in and put it in. At first, it smells so bad. Honestly, not the phone, the, the case. It smells so bad because I regularly do like that on my phone. I regularly chew that, not chew on it, just go like that and I just regularly do that and it smells super bad it's just horrible anyway it comes with little diamonds <laughs> except that one because that fell out but it comes with little diamonds and that itself was one ninety nine free postage and packaging on ebay so you just go on to ebay nokia c3 nokia c3 cases and it will come up that Anywho, enough of me rambling on. Hope you guys enjoyed and I didn't bore you. And I really recommend this phone. I really enjoy it. And it's also cheaper than a Blackberry. So if you want to pretend you have a Blackberry, buy the phone. Because so many people... Blackberries don't have cameras like that. They have like a wee circle camera. But so many people have been like, did you get a Blackberry? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, it just looks like a Blackberry. And I'm like, right. I honestly don't like them, but if people like them, they like them. So that can be your pretend Blackberry. Just get something decent that. As you can see, it says Nokia on the back. So you can get something to block that out. Use your finger or something. I don't know. Anyway, see you later. And I hope you've enjoyed. Okay? See you later. Bye.